So we timed it, hopefully correctly. We're gonna get it started up and hopefully make turbo noises. One of two things is gonna happen, good or bad. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, today's a big day. We're making big progress on the 350R twin turbo build. This is the home stretch. Today is the final day, is what we're pushing for anyway, to get this thing actually started. Got a lot more to do. Got to run some boost line. Got to do some fuel stuff. Together, I'm gonna start getting this back together. We're gonna finish up some things underneath the car. Show you guys the twin turbos and they look beautiful. I'm super jealous. I got the same turbo kit on my car, but long story short, this is kind of what it's gonna look like in the end uh you got your charge pipe there and the turbos are a mid-mount system so they're going to live underneath of the car you guys are all familiar if you follow my channel but if you're new uh this is a hell horse performance twin turbo kit with comp 64 67s these are water cooled but but his are actually air cooled which is kind of cool because this is the first one in the world yes there's other 350s out there that are twin turbo but this is the first one that is air cooled so kind of cool but yeah guys we got a lot of work to do I'm going to get to it, take you along with me. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. Please turn post notifications on. When we're all done, we're going to give this thing a proper, thorough dyno, get it tuned, and a driving review. A lot of work to do. Let's go. Alrighty, we're going to get started. I do want to raise up the car real quick, show you what's underneath the twin turbos. Alright, so we're mocking up the exhaust system right quick uh we gotta take this and get this fabbed up and cut up so different dimensions with a 350 versus like a mustang gt but these are texas speed lead pipes you're gonna need those the kit's gonna come with uh your down pipes already but guys there they are a new standard feature on the hell horse twin so you have a teal finish and then you have a not chrome but like a polished here your compressor housing this is pretty much it it is bolted up we got the wastegates hanging on a 350 it's a little different than a gt we have to clock this guy over here on the passenger side got a little bit of room here and you got to clock uh you got to clock it more into the almost 12 o'clock position so you have a little bit less forgiveness as far as mounting this on a gt 350 versus a gt but the advantage is, and I swear I can't prove this, maybe if I look up part numbers, I think the K-member on the 350 is different than the GT. Can't confirm, let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. But what I have noticed is that charge piping down here, we've got it really close to the body, okay? Now what we are gonna do is cut up some, like radiator hose, anywhere that we think that we might have charge pipe to metal contact to the body. And get rid of any uh, false knock that we might uh, run into. So very tight fit. And what's cool I like is that we're almost flush here, especially over here on this side. Hopefully you guys can see that angle right there. It is beautiful, tucked very nicely, very well done. Turbo Smart Hypergate 45s, same ones I have in mine. Guys, 64, 67s, this is how they look. Freaking awesome, love them. They look so good under the car. It is a shame that they're bottom mounted because you'll never see these unless you jack up the car. This is the intercooler. Again, if you saw in the last episode and you've seen this one off piece that uh, we've come up with, what this does is a seal bracket that actually holds this together and also gives us the clearance out about an inch so that we can run the crash bar with the front bumper. Very cool to work on a Gen 2 Voodoo engine here. Kind of uh, interesting. It's almost like a Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 combined. It's weird. When you actually time it, you actually have to go back from like, uh, I think it's a 1230 to 930. It's interesting. We already covered it in past videos. If you want to check out that content, definitely, you know, search the channel. We did an IMRC lockout on the intake manifold. So the plugs in the rear, I want to make sure that they are weather tight. Make sure we're good back here. What's up? All right, boys and girls of the internet, internet land, YouTube land. We're about to do injectors into the existing fuel rails. Super easy, but if you don't know what you're doing, you're about to find out. Injectors just uh, basically sit in there. We're gonna lube up the O-rings with like oil or something like that. Fuel injector clinic. These are 1000 cc injectors from FIC. I've got them in my car. Very nice product as you're about to see. Here's all your flow data, uh, nice little spreadsheets and stuff like that that they give you, which is nice for tuning, which is gonna come in handy here in the next day or so when he gets on the dyno. But we are going to take out OEM injectors. A little bit of fuel might come out. These literally just unclip like that. They push them back, pull, 
And see, there's gas right there. That's okay. And we're going to take our new ones, make sure that we go in the correct way, and that's it. We're going to build this like that. Just make sure they're lubed up. There's a little gas in there. We're good. And you're simply just going to push down, and it will clip just like that. That's it. I got 93 octane all over me. I don't like 93. I like E85. All in the FIC fuel injectors. I appreciate them sending out to me. Yeah. It looks like a simple process. So this is the fuel rail. And right. all you're doing is unplugging the stock ones. So I'll give you an example how this works. So this is how they would be from the factory, for example. Yeah, anyway, so they clip in like this. All you got to do, unclip from the back these little pins, mm -hmm. pull your injector out, and then you take your new one. You can take fuel, you can take oil, just lube up the O-ring that's going in first. You'll do that on the opposite end as well. Clip in the same place again, like so. Now, if you look, there's a rounded edge and there's a flat edge. Same is true with the clip. Get that to seat correctly, and all you do, push down till you hear an audible click. Oh, that's too easy. And it's secure. And then do that times eight. Correct. We have our injectors, and we're dripping fuel. 93 gas, gross. All these are gonna do is line them up, and they're gonna snap in place once we get them aligned. Like that. Let's get this down properly. Now, if you clip these in right, guys, there's only one orientation in which they're gonna face. So, but you do want to make sure before we start pushing on stuff that they are in the holes going in the right position. You don't want to break anything or mess anything up. Fuel is extremely important. So it looks like we are golden. So I'm gonna give it a push. And they clip, come to this side. And we're gonna clip again. One, two, three, go. There we go, it clicked. So now we can take our fuel, connect to the rail, put down, we are secure and good to go. Fuel sensors, there's a notch in it. Let me go one more way. See, it looks, oh, I pushed it. We're still good. Now we're gonna run our screws down. You know where those long screws are? So much stuff everywhere. It should be right there in that red bag. Oh, the one place I didn't look. <laughs> kind of kept the bolts over by. No, yeah, see guys, look, it's not a mess. It's an organized chaos, that's all it is. Hurry up and get to work, Alex. I've been working. What are you doing? Yeah, that makes me want to listen to music now. I can't do that because we get copyrighted. So that means that we're going to pick this video up in a second. Are you tagged in that group text? You have it plugged into the OBD2 port underneath. So yes. we tapped it. All right, you have to do that every single time. It defaults to off. All right. And we're not going to touch break. Tap tuning? Load tune. Okay. Slide over. Uh, There's no other tunes in the folder. Yup, so 93, hit the check mark. Flash tune. tune. About eight minutes, hit check mark. It don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. 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 Yep. So every time that you flash back and forth with other tunes, post this, it'll be about six minutes. Okay. This is the moment of truth, guys. We've been working. We've been working nonstop getting this thing. Big this shout out to Xander and Ken. Man. My cleanest build. No, yeah. You guys have like you said, like you guys saw earlier in the video, like this, this, this build is clean. The moment of truth right here. So uh, we're going to walk around the car and show you exactly what we have done uh, before we fire this guy up. But today is the day that it's happening. We're going to make turbo noises. Very excited. I know Jack is too. Everybody is. We've got a lot of hard work into this. Yeah, it looks great. So we got the controller down there. I did, I did an even better job, like tucking wires and stuff oh, on dude, this like, factory. Alex has been a madman today, man. We got the go fast bits uh, control mounted. Uh, I mean, real simple. There's other videos online about it. So that's why we kind of didn't film anything. We got the booster pump ran. And the only thing we have left to do is just connect everything and find the ground, which is real simple. What I'm really impressed with is just how clean the engine bay looks. So take take a gander at that guys everything fits really good nice and tight Puts those filters in all the kids <laughs> well we got to confirm that's going to fit the k member is a little bit different I, it's, it's a little tighter yeah that's okay if it's recorded guys cleanest and so i've been working on cars for a long time kind of self-taught kids showed me a lot but i mean uh, honestly it, i don't want to be prideful but hell yeah brag about it dude you did a hell of a job in this yeah, thing, i appreciate bro. it this is um i'm gonna walk you around we're gonna show you a couple of things that i've done he's been turning wrenches helping us at, at night time when he's not working and uh yeah from sun up to sundown we've been here battling this thing over the past few days you guys have been watching on the channel and uh, if you haven't click up above we've got a whole build series so um anyway so we're gonna start at the engine bay so hell horse twins i'm gonna lost words man 
This is oh, this is so okay, clean. No, no, I got, I got, I got, I got this. Now this is a Gen 3 Coyote. Everything is a little bit of a mess. Uh, this is about as pretty as I can make it. But uh, hub switch, vacuum block over here. Uh, mine is water cooled, so tap into heater hoses. But fuel system for lethal performance. Big shout out to those guys. Hell Horse Twins, Comp 6467s, water cooled. And uh, I've got to clean up mine a little bit. But honestly, there's it's a GT. It's not a whole lot to see here. But when we come over here to this one. You honestly probably couldn't even tell that it was twin turbos. I spent, I put that on the camera and I haven't been filming as much as I, I barely, I just started today and we've been here for a long time. Six days. Yeah, well today, especially I wanted to make sure that everything was about as factory clean looking as possible. Everything is, this is secured. All your vacuum lines are pretty much nicely tucked and hidden. Mocked up the vacuum block over here. It's, he liked mine, so we did the same thing. I uh, did a little bit better of a job over here. I tucked everything nicely. We got the Mac valve over here. So we got blow off valve here. This is a nice uh, Gen 5 race port. Bottom wastegates. We got top wastegates, which feed into the port one, Max Illinois. And then those are teed to the tops of the gates down beneath us. So for the wastegates, you've got those teed into the block to the uh, bottom side. Remember, they're flipped upside down since we're hanging turbos. Talking, talking um, about the and then, code. what is that? Oh, okay, the tune is done. The tune just got flashed, pretty sweet. So we're about to fire this up. Anyway, so we got uh, this one right here feeding the block, and then this is our boost reference for the controller inside. So pretty clean setup, but I have uh, tried to hide and tuck wires as best as possible, make it as clean factory looking as possible. Breathers here, these are a little bit smaller and different than mine, but both of us are getting the nice like Mishimoto catch cans coming soon. Um, but yeah, kind of sweet to actually just see that, just poking there. Well, and one thing that you did that was real smart, not to cut you off. Yep. We, we, we went ahead and labeled all these. We came up, when we were driving up here, we came up with this idea to label each wire. So as you pull it through the engine bay, you don't have to go, okay, is this one, this one, this one. Right. You mark it out, which is so Yeah, good you for... wanted, especially you're kind of new to the turbo game. I so guess. I wanted to make it as, for lack of a better term, dummy proof as possible. In different spots, all the way down, um, we've got them color coded. So green for gate and then red for the, the controller. You don't really need one for this guy here, but I'm not gonna impede on airflow. I've got the, uh, air sensor down here nicely zip tied so it's not going to go anywhere and then we're going to lift up the car once we get it actually fired up and i'll show you around what's underneath you guys have been watching and seeing what we've been doing over the past couple of videos but if you haven't you're going to get a nice glimpse of something beautiful underneath but uh yeah man um let's finish up the boost a pump basically run a ground down here figure out where we want to mount this but for the sake of starting the vehicle all we got to do is plug us up ground it we're good and uh and go for broke so <laughs> not really broke we're not going to use that term so knock on wood i mean honestly if you were to hunt around this car looking for stuff that's like misplaced i would bet money that you couldn't so we timed it hopefully correctly we're going to get it started up and hopefully make turbo noises one of two things is going to happen good or bad so we're gonna go for good. So everything is uh, heat wrapped over here. That's just because of this uh, dump right there. I've gone over this so many times in the past couple of videos, but these things are sweet and beautiful. Got everything color coded, just like on top. Beautiful, beautiful twin turbos, wastegates hanging, like I was talking about, upside down. So this line and this bottom line tee together and they go to your controller. This, which is now the top, but the bottom of the wastegate is for your wastegate pressure, for spring pressure. Super clean job. I'm excited, we gotta start this thing. We're trying to line up a dyno for the morning. It is a weekend, so I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. Hopefully we get it tuned. So that's uh, kind of dead in the water at this point. We're hoping, crossing our fingers. Thank mm -hmm. you. 